Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is a new handbag, so let me get into it. I'm really excited, and you can see right away it is a coach handbag. If you watch my recent video where I talked about the five new handbags that I've been admiring, all under $1,000, this bag was featured, so you're not gonna be surprised if you watch that video. So let's just kind of get into it. I have to be efficient and quick here because my husband took our kids out to play volleyball and I've got one shot at this before they come back. So, oh my gosh, it's so heavy, it's so big. I'm gonna just move this over, it's humongous. Okay, so here we go, classic brown ribbon that we get from Coach. Let me just undo this. Okay, gosh, the box is quite big, or maybe I just haven't done an unboxing like this in a while and I have to get used to it. Okay, so here's the coach box. Very nicely packaged. This was an online order. I wanted to just treat myself to a little something uh, for Mother's Day. Here is the bag. Oh my gosh, I can feel the leather. Woo! Whoa, okay, it's very substantial. Okay, wow, okay, so, hold on, woo. So this is the Coach Ruby 25 satchel, and I mentioned in that video recently um, that this was one of the bags that I was admiring. I feel like this is gonna be a really popular bag, very similar to my Coach Rambler Mini and also the Coach Cassie's and the Coach Cassie 19. They were so popular and then they all sold out. And now people are having a really hard time getting their hands on them. I think the same is gonna happen with this one. I'm talking while I'm looking through the camera and just feeling this. So. I had mentioned this could be a good leather alternative to the Speedy 25. It's called the Ruby 25 because I believe it's 25 centimeters in length. Let me just put it down and I'm just adjusting myself so I can really get a good look. So, all right, here it is. We've got this little tag here. This too feels quite substantial with the brass. Wow, okay, and then this here, what is this? It's got a little turn lock. Um, there's nothing in here. Let's see. I think it's just as a little keychain, maybe, or as a little charm. And it looks like this is removable as well as the the tag, right? Okay, so the leather feels incredible. It's all really nice grainy leather. And then it has the trim in the glove tan leather, which is my favorite. Coach is known for their glove tan leather. I did a whole video on the history of it. They started in 1941, and husband and wife team came up with the glove tan leather based on a baseball mitt. So my Rambler Mini, which I love, you guys know if you've been here before, is all this glove tan leather, so I love that. Look, there's feet. Oh, wait, what does that say? It says here, genuine glove tanned pebble leather. Oh, okay, awesome. And it's got really nice feet. We don't have that on the Louis Vuitton Speedies, right? No feet, so this is nice. It'll protect the leather. I just, I feel, it feels so substantial. I, had, I didn't have a chance to look at this in person before ordering it. I ordered it because there was a Mother's Day promo. Wait a minute. Yeah, there was a Mother's Day promo and I used a code to get a gift with purchase. I had actually even shared that on my IG stories saying that you could get a gift with purchase and I was supposed to get a complimentary um, perfume. I can't remember the name of it, but hold on, that's weird. Unless they're gonna ship it separately, maybe they just forgot. Huh, okay. So, so I'll have to call and find out. So here it is. This original price is $4.95. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice. Here are two pockets, which is nice. And then here, you've got a zippered compartment. Okay, which is very roomy. I would imagine based on the size here that I could fit my passports if I use this for travel. The only thing is, it's... I love that it's super, I keep saying substantial, it feels really well made, really high quality, feels really substantial, like it's got good weight to it. I love that the zipper is extended. 
you can see here, I'm going to just close this up and see. Okay, it's a little rough, I'll be honest. I don't know if it's like that for all of these style bags or if this just needs to be broken in, but I'll show you again. So it's not really that smooth. It's a nice chunky zipper, but it's not as smooth as I would love. And again, it might just be this version, but look at the stitching. The stitching is immaculate. It's so clean and precise and straight and perfect. Um, but it feels quite heavy. It wasn't just the box. This feels really heavy, probably because it's all leather and grained leather in particular is heavier. The handles are really nice. And then of course the feet and all the brass is going to add to the weight. This is a really nice adjustable leather strap with buckle. And I can use it like this, just handheld or in the crook of my arm, or I can use it as a shoulder or crossbody bag with this on it. But honestly, as I pull this up like this, it feels quite heavy. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to just do handheld or a crook of the arm, cause I'm really a lightweight. If you are a regular here, you know I am a stickler about handbag weight. And I wish that all the websites would mention the weight along with the dimensions, but there's no denying this bag is really beautifully made, high quality materials. Not sure where it's made. Huh, okay, so I can't see. So it's not stamped on this thing here. Where's the made in stamp? Does anyone have this bag already? Do you know where it was made? Did you find the um, made in tag or stamp? Because I cannot seem to find it anywhere actually um, but anyway here and then there's this actually what is this so I looked at everything on the website but obviously looking at it in person is just different all the little nooks and crannies so there's a little turn lock here as well it doesn't do anything I think it's just an embellishment it doesn't come off entirely but you can turn it um, let me see yeah it's on both sides I think it's cute. I think though it's probably adding some unnecessary weight to the bag, to be honest, because you don't need all that. It could have just been really simple. So let me just take this. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's coming in at two pounds, almost two ounces, right? Two pounds, 1.9 ounces. And that's not good for me. Um, let me try one more time because I have mentioned in so many videos that I cannot do bags that weigh over two pounds. Um, yeah, it's two pounds, two ounces roughly. That's heavier than my Birkin 30. That's heavier than my Chanel Jumbo. That's probably my heaviest bag ever. Um, I did have the Senrev Mini Maestra bag, which had a lot of pros, but one of the cons was that it was a bit heavy. Um, anything over two pounds I can't do and this is clearly over two pounds completely empty nothing in here at all except the strap and like a couple pieces of tissue paper or styrofoam which will weigh barely nothing so huh okay if I'm honest I don't think this bag yeah I know this bag is not for me I'm glad I tried it though, and I'm glad I did an unboxing so I could show you everything up close. It didn't say the weight of the bag on the website. This is why I think they should, all brands should do this. They should put at least approximate weight. You know, they do this for shoes, right? When you order shoes like on Zappos.com, that's where I get most of my shoes because they have such great customer service and it's so easy. And I order sneakers and shoes for myself, my kids, my husband, and I always look at the weight and they always give you an approximate weight based on like the size of the shoe. I don't know why they don't do that with handbags. It would be so, so, so helpful because if I knew this was over two pounds, I really wouldn't have ordered it um, because I just know myself like with my... The way I am, things get really heavy for me. I'm not that strong, I guess, and I don't want to have shoulder pain. Um, I would have wanted to pack this a little bit more and use this for longer outings or maybe even travel, kind of like the Speedy 25. And I think this is just too heavy to do that because if I start putting things in, I'm tempted to put some stuff in, but I also don't want to be disrespectful about putting my personal items in a bag that I'm most likely going to have to return. 
it's also a mystery what happened to my gift with purchase, my complimentary Mother's Day perfume. So, huh, maybe it's just not meant to be. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think a few of you have bought this or were planning to buy this and I'd love to know if you are enjoying it and if it's working for you. Honestly, if I owned a car and I lived in the suburbs maybe or in a rural area where I drove everywhere and I didn't do a lot of walking, I don't think I would be such a stickler for the weight of bags because I'm not having the bag on my body that much. But I live in Manhattan. You guys know, right? And I walk a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot, like several miles a day on a minimum. Just because I like walking and it's easy and I get around that way. Very rarely do I take public transport. So this is going to be heavy within a hot, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to get tired of it. So let me see here. The, the design I like. The leather quality I really like. The price is amazing at $4.95. The gift with purchase would have been really nice if I received it. I think that would have been great. Um, I, I don't think that would have influenced me to keep the bag though because as well as it's made and, and all of that, it's, it's just too heavy. I wish Coach had made it a little bit lighter, maybe removed some of this stuff like the embellishments. I don't know. Um, if you're okay with heavier bags and you don't walk a lot with your bags and you're mostly in a car when you're out and about i think this could still really work for you there are just a lot of bags that i think look great and are well made but unfortunately for me just because of the weight i can't do it and this is unfortunately going to be one of those bags i still think it's a really nice leather alternative for the speedy 25 from louis vuitton um but i am there's no debating on this one i'm actually going to package it up and return it um, today probably or tomorrow I don't like you guys know me if I know it's not for me I don't like keeping things around I just want to pack it up and send it back as quickly as possible so someone else can buy it and I think I need to call coach or email them right and let them know that I never got their complimentary um, gift with purchase because I don't know if they're going to be expecting that in the return but like you guys saw I don't think there was even room for it to fit in here with all this tissue paper and the size of the box, right, this box here, there's just no way that anything else would have fit. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe Coach is doing really well with their new designs and a lot of people are making online orders and they're just inundated with the volume of orders and that's why they can't keep up and they're kind of forgetting to do, to add the complimentary gifts. I guess that could be a good sign for them. Anyway, this was sort of a anticlimactic. I don't like when this happens, but I'm still glad that I shared because I feel like this bag is going to be perfect for a bunch of people out there. And um, I do think I do think it's a good bag. The only thing also besides the weight is, oh, actually, the zipper is already kind of... So you saw when I first opened and closed it, it was kind of sticky. And after, what, two or three times, it's already smoother. So I think that over time, this is going to be quite nice. So now I'm not really concerned about the zipper. It's really the weight. That is like the number one thing that is my concern and may not be concerned for you. So anyway, I tried, right? I'm trying to step out of the luxury handbag bubble a little bit and try some other things. You guys know I've always been a fan of Coach. Coach was my first designer handbag when I was a teenager and I still have it because my mom saved the bag then gave it to my daughter who's now 11. She still has it. Um, all right, that's it. I am going to try maybe ordering another bag from that video where I shared the five new handbags I'm admiring, or I might explore and venture out and look for other types of bags from other brands because I'm really enjoying this process of just like testing and seeing and researching. And um, maybe I'll find some others that are intriguing and I'll order from there. We'll see. I'm not in any rush. You guys know I'm pretty happy with my current handbag collection and my wardrobe and all of that so I am not in a rush to add I just thought this I feel like this is going to sell out pretty fast just like I said with the coach ramblers and the rambler mini and the cassie and the cassie 19 now you can only get them pre-loved right or in really um, unpopular colors um, so I had a feeling this was going to happen with this so I was like let me just get it and the mother's day gift with purchase promo was what got me to hurry up and pre press, you know, place in cart. But uh, no, this one doesn't work for me, unfortunately. So if you're not into heavy bags, I think you need to stay away from this, even though it's beautiful. It's a nice classic silhouette, you know, satchel type, but 
it's heavy. It is heavy. And I, I'm not surprised it's over two pounds because when I pulled it out of the box, I felt the weight. It just, that's why I kept saying it's, it's so substantial. Like it's heavy. <laughs> All right. Um, hope this video was helpful in some way. I am going to send this back, uh, immediately. Um, but like I said, I'll explore some other bags and come back and tell you what I find. So hope this video was helpful. If it was in some way, please give it a like and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.